Okay, problem number four from the Wastewater Collection Math Book on SewerGeek.com. Um, problem reads, if a 24-inch pipe and a 48-inch pipe are flowing full and meet in a manhole, what size outlet pipe would be required? Well, um, we're going to take a look at this and see if there's anything to simplify. Um, we could put that in feet, but the answers are in inches, so we'll leave that alone. And, and that's about it. So I'll go ahead and draw it first. I've got a 24 inch pipe and a 48 inch pipe. Close enough. Meeting in a manhole. And obviously, I'll need a bigger pipe for them to leave. So there's a 48 inch. And then this one is, we don't know. So what we need to do is to make sure that this pipe that leaves the downstream manhole, that downstream side of the manhole, has to be big enough to accommodate these two flowing full. So the area of this pipe is going to have to be able to handle the area of both of these together. Now the problem doesn't actually say if the pipes are round or square. And we could, if we made them round, then we'd have to do the area being the area being diameter squared times 0.785. So the area of a round pipe is going to be diameter squared times 0.785. If it's square, it would be just length times height or width either whatever way you look at it, but since it's square they're both going to be the same anyway. So if I, what I would do is if I would figure out the area of these if they were round and the area of that if it was round and then I would have to square root it and take the 0.785 back out. So there's no point in leaving it in anyway. So since mathematically it's not going to make a difference we're going to go ahead and assume that these are square pipes going in and out. So the area, so we're going to use length times width because it's easier. So I'll go the area of a square pipe. <laughs> That's almost square. We'll stick with that mess. There we go. We'll go 24 inches times 24 inches. And that's going to equal around 600, give or take. Five seventy six. That's five hundred and seventy six inches squared. Forty eight inches times forty eight inches is going to be forty eight squared. Twenty three oh four. Two thousand three hundred and four inches squared. And that's going to be. 2880 inches squared. So that means that this guy right here, area, equals 2880 inches squared. But we want the diameter of the pipe or the size, the width of the pipe. So if it's going to be a square pipe, all you need to do is get the square root of 2880. That's going to be 53.6 inches. So that that's going to be A. And what's important to remember, if this happened to be, let's just say it happened to be 54.1 inches, well then you couldn't use A because the point 0.1 wouldn't fit. So you'd have to go up the next size up, which would be D. But in this case we're okay, well, we can stick with 54 that's going to be big enough to let this water out, um, get out of the manhole. 